real true ay ay what hump set 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 yo what's up everyone this is vcv sips and this is my video of my top six hopes for persona 6 how funny is it that I have another Persona video right after another? Two Persona videos back to back? Damn, looking at me like I'm Champagne Poppy over here, but we're gonna be getting started with my video on my top six things that I wanna see, that I hope to see from Persona 6. So if you're hype, make sure you go and smash that like button. Don't forget, if you're brand new and if you're enjoying the content, to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on all the live streams, videos, music, and more. Hope you guys are ready for this video because I got six things that I really do hope to see for Persona 6. The first of my top six hopes for Persona 6, I want to see the protagonist primarily as adults and or college students in the game. The reason why I feel this way is because in Persona 3, 4, and 5, the main protagonists primarily are all uh, young adults, but mostly high schoolers. So it it's t to me to the point where we're, we've been high schoolers for three Persona games straight. I feel that it's time to start having a, a little more mature of a demographic in regards to the party that you play as in game because let's be real here the game is rated m and in all the persona games that are rated m so far there's moments where there's of course horrible things happening but there's never anything that goes the next step further to truly be rated m because like to be honest in my opinion i consider the games rated t for teen the reason why the games are rated m are for specific uh explicit themes whether it's about the sexual innuendos or when it talks about some of the drugs or any kind of like stuff that goes on in these games it's all because of like the ESRB deciding that it's rated for m instead of rated for t but i think that the persona franchise can really make that next step forward in upping the story upping the ante and just for the demographic as a whole who plays these games and even for the people who have been playing Persona 1 and 2 from back in the day that want to play that kind of style with the older cast of characters to play as. I think that'd be very awesome and a very cool callback as well. Like, imagine them really upping the ante with the story and having the older cast and all that kind of stuff. Like, look at the scene from Final Fantasy 16, another RPG that is starting to change the way that its RPG is and its stories are for its demographic. You now see what I mean? Persona 6 needs to make that kind of jump forward when it comes to the plot. Like, it just needs to. And the characters, they have to be either adults and or young adults in college. It just can't be high school students anymore. We had it for three games straight. It's time to move on. Now, for my number two hope for Persona 6, it's another thing that I want to see. It's a reminder system to be implemented into the game. So what I mean by a reminder system is for those who may have played Dragon Quest XI S, every time you turn on the game, you get a reminder on screen for a few uh, clips of stuff just telling you what you just went through the last time you played. So let's say you forget about what you were doing last time. Let's say you were working on a confidant. Let's say you were working on uh, getting specific stuff to go through a palace or a dungeon. And let's say you forgot all about that. If there was a reminder system of some type, then you'd be able to remember. Whether you played a few days ago, a few weeks ago, or even a few months ago, you'll be able to get back into Persona 6 and get back on track to what you need to do. If there is a reminder system implemented, it would even help you with remembering to go and follow your confidants and make sure you go and do the things that you need to do. Now, my number three hope that I need to see in Persona 6 that I really hope for, I need to see fusion skills return for those who may know in persona 3 and fest 3 fest there's an ability where you can fuse two skills together in battle to use amazingly extra powerful moves or even special skills that can help you out in battle like cadenza for example in persona 3 and 3 fest can allow you to be healed by up to 50 percent of your health and raise your evasion and accuracy which is an awesome thing and helps out whenever you're in a pinch so if there's things like fusion skills to return 
it would be an amazing implementation to be brought back that really, really should have never left in the first place with how versatile and varied fusion skills can really be if they were implemented fruitfully and bountifully. Now, my number four hope for Persona 6 out of my top six has gotta be having a campaign that actually either lasts more than one in-game year or with a potential time skip within the game's plot. I think if we had a plot where if the game lasted more than just the regular one year in game and or maybe if we had a time skip be relative to the story, I think it would change up the way characters would behave and we would see how people would grow over time and see how they would feel in reference, whether positive and or negative, to the things in, the, in their world affected by everything happening in the story and seeing if they change their mind or if they feel differently throughout the game would make people think differently about each character and every character would seem more multifaceted which I think the characters in Persona really need that especially like for example like Ryuji, Yosuke, and Junpei those three characters always get knocked for being the regular best friend character they just get thrown into that little garbage bin and honestly like we need to be able to have a way where we can make the characters seem to stand out more and having a time skip in the story and or having a plot where it does last longer than one in-game year in regards to the in-game time, I think that'd be great and perfect for Persona 6. Now my fifth hope of my top six hopes for Persona 6 is a must in my opinion. Um, and it should have been a thing still by this point. I don't know why it's not yet. Uh, but we does definitely deserve a male and female protagonist in these Persona games, in Persona 6 and onward. And in Persona 6 specifically, I would love if the protagonists were both tied into the plot. Like, let's say, compared to like Genshin Impact real quick, where you start the game off and it shows you and your sibling and you basically get split off in the very beginning of the game. Maybe if they had something like that where maybe you're going to one college and your sister's going to another and then something happens there and she joins the bad side, the bad guys, or it's vice versa and you're in different places. I think just having a male and female protagonist would be great. However, I think the best way for it to be implemented while simultaneously being able to keep the plot for both characters the same it would have to be so they were tied into the plot it'd be the best way to have it to happen like that and overall it would just be a great thing to have because there's many male and female gamers who play persona and a female protagonist is great for also having people get to play almost the game all over again but from a different perspective with some different social links and different confidants to see from a different view now, my number six hope for Persona 6 out of my top six hopes is. Drum roll, please. You should be able to date two women at the same time on Valentine's Day. You dick! <laughs> Yo, thank you all so much for watching this video of my top six hopes for Persona 6. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure you smash that like button if you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell if you're brand new or if you've been watching to stay up to date on all the videos, the reviews, the hot takes, the live streams, videos like this, and more. Thank you all for your support. I appreciate each and every one of you that subscribed, every one of you that's just watching, every one of you that's a member. Thank you all so much. I really appreciate it. And if you want to become a member of our community, the 100% click, anyone is more than welcome to by checking the YouTube membership link and or the Patreon membership links in the description of this video below. Thank you all so much for your support. I am so hyped for Persona 6. Ever since I played Persona 5, I've been hooked. I've played 4 Golden, I've played 5 Royal then, and I'm currently finishing up Persona 3 Fest. I'm, well, not finishing up. I'm really only just 12 hours in. I still have a while to go, but it's been a blast, and it just got me anticipating and thinking of what I hope for for Persona 6, and I just wanted to let you all know all my thoughts, and I hope you guys are hyped for Persona 6 as well. Leave me your thoughts in the comment section below about everything you'd hope for for Persona 6 
when that game eventually comes out. It probably won't come out for a long time, though. Maybe five years from now, maybe, if we're lucky. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Peace. Peace on the B. Pockets on me, what you asking? Black casket Is it way too much to be asking? Black casket Black casket Pockets on me, what you asking? Black casket Black casket Crying for me, what you basket? Over my casket Black 